Hi there, it's the camel again and welcome back to the next episode of Clean Canyon and also to the next recording session on Twitch to Clean Canyon. Um, yeah, we are back on Twitch, uh, we are back in this park and this time again um, we had a little bit of a poll going on on my Twitter beforehand what we're gonna do in this today's episode. That's because mostly in episode 4 of Clean Canyon there were so less comments that I can't even chose from those because there was like no inspiration or whatsoever which we could do next so I just did a little bit of a poll on Twitter and the outcome was that we will go on with a coaster <laughs> like I was hoping that it isn't been selected or elected in that kind of sense but it was so uh, I have to build a coaster today and whoa wait I just skipped that song um, yeah anyways we are going to build a coaster and we are going to build a wing coaster today and uh, Maybe not today for you guys because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna make it in the first episode But I'll try to do it in like a little bit more than one and a half hours today Let's see what we can do with it um, Maybe we have to go on then in the next recording as well with it, but now let's don't um, Lose too much time on just talking about it. Let's go and actually start over it with it. So first problem We do have is that I have no idea where to put that one and so I made myself a little bit of, you know, I, I just spent a few minutes thinking of it. So basically the first problem is that we will have like our um, entrance area over here. And wait, I just need to... Um, can't this be con It can be connected, right? Like, could, could you please? That would be... Yeah, thank you. Um, so... Oh, that doesn't work, actually. Wait, actually, then we do it like this. I'm too lazy now to fix that issue. Wait, why can't we... <sighs> Sometimes the past to... Okay, what is this about now? Okay, I guess I have to redo it again. Um, can I just... Help. Nobody knows why this is gonna happen like this. Anyways! <laughs> Let's move on now with the 10 meters piece and kind of, you know, I just wanted to shape a little bit what the m kind of main street will be so that we then enter the park and the coaster will be then kind of the, you know, middle of the park, the centerpiece. Uh, the real Kleinbara, hey there and welcome to the today's stream. Uh, but yeah, so we are gonna do this and clops and mops. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for following and enjoy the stream. Lean back and relax. I like this name, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we just um, Claudius Argier. Hey there as well. And the real Kleinbar just said, "Just call me Kleinbar. I'm going to do this, mate." So um, yeah, we are going to build a wing coaster, as I said, and I somehow have to first of all, and this is something I I never did live in a way. I saw this also like Sylph did it. I did it, not that in the way before, but I found out that the idea how he did it was kind of cool uh, to to paint like where you want to have the coaster, and this is gonna be the thing right now as well. We will have a launched um, wing coaster, and I actually. It's a lot more narrow than I thought on my drawings. Um, so maybe I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I should just do it over here. So we will have the station going on over here. Uh, maybe we should make it a tiny little bigger. Um, so the station will sit over here. And Mikra Jojo, hey there. Good evening, Rudy says. And good evening, Mikra Jojo. How are you doing, mate? So yeah, this will be the station area, then we will have the launch over here, which then will go straight into a nice overbanked element to this side over here. We will definitely have to deal a lot with tunnels, because I don't want to make the coaster stand out too much, because, you know, it's basically, this park is about the idea, uh, a simple and clean canyon, and if there will be this kind of really big coaster that could be a little bit annoying so I actually want to keep it a little bit cleaner so we will then and this is also the next major problem I guess but then we will try to turn back over the launch into this area over here and 
go kind of with an inline twist over here into it, it won't be that big of a coaster actually but I just want to make sure that this coaster in a way you know has a little bit of elements of a wing coaster but not you know we are not going to do a hyper realistic coaster over here um, that's where I have my hour coaster series for so that will be basically a little bit of a different one so we are going then in here um, over a this will be kind of an I don't know a switch bear uh, no it's it's kind of you know the the turnaround element I, I don't have too many ideas how to do it but I have kind of an idea how to do it so then we will go straight over into a little bit of a curvy section over here with some nice overbank curves into a uh, corkscrew over here if that makes sense and then finish that off with a helix going into the break one over here. I hope that this makes sense in terms of size, but we will see how that works. So it's it's pretty small actually, but um, yeah, we will have to deal with the space given, right? So that's bas basically the end. We have to, yeah, just, you know, look that this park isn't like filled with one coaster already. So that's basically the idea of it. Um, so let's see what the chat does. So Mikro Jojo answered to the question how he's doing. I'm so tired, man. It wasn't a smart idea to wallaby yesterday. Oh, um, he wasn't wallaby, and it it seemed that it was a good day, but also an exhausting day, right? Um, anyways, now we are going back into coaster talk because Peter Maniac is saying Mac is better than Welt Koning machine fabric. So. Um, now they are gonna go into talk and I'm pretty sure that Mikro Jojo will somehow manage to go to Vekoma, back to Vekoma. Well, Baron the Beer 2 has also joined the stream and welcome, mate. So, Klaus Agir is also very tired, even without being at Wallaby yesterday. So, um, no, I'm not going to build a truck ride, I'm going to build a coaster. I also like how, how my blueprints are always in here. It's actually it's not always my blueprints, but... This one is definitely one of mine, and the jacuzzi as well. I like my jacuzzi. Oh, I, I'd wish someday, someday, guys, I, I need to stream out of a jacuzzi. That would be nice. It would be also a little bit dangerous, I guess. But anyways, so let's see. No, it's actually a steel wing, and we need the launched wing coaster. There we go. On which side do we have the entrance then? I guess on the back side, so we can make the station look kind of nice as kind of the weenie thing. So let's see that we place this one over here. So maybe we can make a sta one station piece more, I guess, like this. Okay, so now, um, do we have also the... Hmm. Well, actually, how long can we make? Okay, those can be made with four meters, so that's nice. Uh, because I want to try something I haven't tried before and I don't even know if that makes sense So guys in the chat you might help me with that um, So I'm, I, I want to go with a uh, slightly tilt launch to the downside So that we go a little bit down and, and use the speed to make the coaster in general not that high But go into the earth back again, you know, just like up and back again, so we have a lot of tunnels going on, so that the coaster in general is a little bit more hidden. Um, but anyways. Um, also, Swither and Lime Lizard have joined, so hey you two guys. And so, you know what, I'm just going to do this. So we will have this launch going on then. I don't know for how long, I, I think that should be already enough. So then again, we will try to, and I, I think I just should build this with um, a nice amount of uh, oh, a nice amount of what sorry I just lost track there uh, I want to build that one with um, the angle snap turned on first of all so maybe we just uh, we could also start the test already so to see where we end up then so as I said I just want to make it go in and now just overhang kind of all right, so that's gonna be working in a way, I guess. Oh wait, I, I'm just already too much into the into the turn, so we might just want to have it like this a little bit more. Wait, there we go. 
So, wait, I just need to go then a little bit straight over here. Where we then can go like completely 180 degrees. Oh wait, I'm not straight, right? Oh, I am, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we will make the launch a little bit more powerful then. Uh, so, let's build maybe one more, I guess. Like this, and we can also try to wait why is this oh it's still straight up that's not the idea um, we should be like this all right then so now we need to go down yeah that's it okay now the chat is going quite crazy I think uh, so I need to try and keep track of it a little bit uh, while building this a little bit um, all right so uh, Clubs and Mops, the one with my most uh, favorite name today, I guess. Um, he does uh, want chips now. Oh, I also want to have chips now, but I, I, I just don't have any. So, okay, maybe that's not steep enough. So we need to, because I want to go into a tunnel over here, so like this. And I don't want to make it too uh, forceful on, on the bottom part. But it definitely will be very forceful if we go in like this, so... Let's see that we can make this not too crazy. Okay, that, that should make sense. Maybe we can enlarge the turn then a little bit... Oh, what did we actually do? Oh, that's uh, not cool. I wanted to keep it straight, mate. Thank you. So we are at the zero degrees, so maybe we... Yeah should take it a little bit more or a little bit longer so that it's not that forceful at the bottom part of it actually I have to I have to learn a little bit of vocabulary rega regarding coasters like I I tend to have learned quite a bit from all the coaster tutorials but I still um, actually lack a few you know um, expert termina in terms of coasters so um, that's basically something I really need to learn. Uh, so let's get straight f again for a second over here. So we then can go into the inline twist over there. Maybe get in a little bit of air time. I don't know if we get it done, but just a tiny little bit would be nice. Then again, we should stop the test and start the test again. And should also try and focus on the on the launch speed a little bit because it seemed to be I don't even know if we need the brakes over there but I thought it would be nice to kind of try and make this you know little stop start there but maybe we do it with a block break instead nice idea. Um, stop the test and maybe we can also make the launch speed a little bit higher so let's test it and while testing I can also look at the chat for a second um, um, Swizzer no I don't try Silk's way to build a coaster right now I'm not going to use the 4 um, meter technique over here because that is absolutely something you shouldn't do in a let's play kind of way because um, he asked if I do it um, Lime Lizard says he's got chips and curry sauce. That's cool, but uh, I don't have chips and neither have I curry sauce. So, yeah, well. Um, Goodleful says, um, oh, I want to play too. Stupid elbow nerve. Oh, do you, do, are you, are you, um, have you had some injuries at your elbow nerve or what's going on there? So let's see what the test is, does again. Like, I have also to. Okay, hmm, I'm not too sure. Okay, let's see. What about the pace now? Ah, it could be a tiny little bit faster through that throughout there, but it seems to be fine. So then we go in here. Yeah, that's kind of fine. I like how this this um, goes over here. So now we need to definitely go back into into the next element before we then go into the inline twist and I'm, I'm feeling we have to go a little bit higher to take the momentum a little bit away from it <coughs> sorry my voice is going to be away so I definitely have to take a bit more water after this episode 
I don't actually know why it is so much strange at the moment. So let's see. I can we do it with six me? Maybe we need some longer pieces then. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> damn. Sorry, guys. So let's try. In which direction should we turn then? So we have a left hander. We have again a left hander. And again, a left-hander. It's it's really left-hander, hander dish. Does it doesn't make sense at all? So let's go with a right-handed inline twist then. So I've no idea if that makes sense what I'm doing right now, but it should actually. Um. So we might then go back again down because that will be then the next tunnel element. Um, I hope that this will, this is gonna work. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we might try it just a little bit like, wait, if we make it a tiny little bit longer, thank you very much. Oh wait, that's a little bit too high. So where are we? Okay, we are over there. That's a little bit far to the left, I guess, but... Wait, what's happening? So there we go. Cool. I still have no idea. Let's stop the test and start the test again because I definitely need to know how much, uh, how good the pacing is at this stage. Because I need to go in with this kind of overbank turn again. Mm. So, are we gonna make it like this? I'm not sure at all. But it can be a nice element though, I hope at least. Wait. Can I just... Wait, I, I just don't want to go like this. Can I just... Why can't I move back? Um, that's a little bit strange. Can we do it without the banking offset? Okay. Strange things gonna happen. Right, anyways, I... Can't I just open it to the left then? I can't. Oh, I oh whoa! It's it's just swapped. Okay, never mind. So we are not gonna make it in terms of speed over there. Yeah, it's, it's just way too high. So let's make it a little bit more small. Anyways, uh, just quickly uh, catching the chat. Um, so Goodfoot said the banking offset is kind of weird with wing riders. Don't you generate bad G forces on the side of the train? Um, actually, it would if I would keep this kind of strong banking offset, but because I want to make this inline twist kind of smooth, I uh, try to do it with the banking offset because smoothing it will definitely take the banking again away. So, yeah. Um, so, Dusk113 uh, says, yeah, it would be really weird to offset the banking without just uh, flinging the other side out their seats. Um, all twists are supposed to be track lined. Yes, 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 definitely. Um, no, I'm not gonna kill my guests. Trust me. I just want to try and make the thing smooth. So um, that's basically why I'm gonna use that one. Uh, anyway, so let's see. Then we go in with less banking offset over here. Same is also going for this one over here, guys. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not wanting to kill my guests, but I'm wanting to have a smooth coaster in the end. At least a kind of smooth one. So that's why I'm trying to remain this, you know, little bit of smoothing. Uh, sorry, a little bit of banking offset in to, yeah, make the coaster smooth again. So, I think that should work better over here. So, I think we, we might go down a little bit to take the momentum. Alright, so that's gonna f be fine if we just, you know, increase the speed of the um, of, of this uh, launch a little bit more. Take this one a little bit higher so we can take a little bit more speed from over there. That makes sense, I guess. So we will make a little bit of a review, guys, next episode, I think, because in this first episode we should at least be in a way to, you know, finish the layout. That's why I'm also not spending too much of an eye on the chat, which I should do, definitely. Um, 
Okay, Mika Jojo is, um, you know, um, is, is trying to make fun of me again in, in the way he's quoting me like, no, of course, I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to try. <laughs> Hashtag Rudy. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try. Uh, King Sharks, thank you for being a camel colleague now and also thank you for following, man. Welcome and enjoy. So let's see if we can go into this nice curvy section over here. So I really want to go to the 90 degrees and then turn this back again. You know, we will have to do a lot of moving then, but just for the momentum, uh, for the momentum, sorry, for the moment, I just want to go and, okay, ma maybe we can go even steeper over here, so to catch a little bit of airtime. That could be nice. I don't actually know if we will have some airtime then over there, but anyways. I just want to make most of the, the you know, space given and since we need a lot of pathways and, and you know, flat rides over here and there and stuff like that. So, Lukushi12, thank you for following mate and welcome. And so now we're gonna make sure that we are prepared for this um, corkscrew in a way. Oh no, that, that one is over there. So let's try and manage to, you know, prepare for that the best way possible. And yeah, there we go. Okay, we should maybe go into this angle. So, Clubs and Mobs is gonna feed the cats. They're starving for the fifth, the 15th time today. Wow, your cats seem to be very close to death. Just kidding there. So, what do we have as kind of rolls over here? That's a strange corkscrew, isn't it? Actually, I like this element, but I was just trying to see what's going on. Wait, did I did I miss something with the coaster? Is it Wait a second. No, it's all fine. I was just a little bit confused about this element. So I I, I do like this element, but actually I mm, I mean we do have some strange elements and not too many elements that a wing coaster would have but I also like this one a lot so maybe we are gonna exchange that one with this one because I really like this one um, so yeah um, let's what we like this one is also kind of nice but I just want to have like yeah maybe we could have also just used this one but I also want to always try to build my elements my own way. So this basically is, you know, this is kind of nicely hardlined, you know, it's, yeah, well, it's not, <laughs> it's not. Uh, Kensa TK, welcome to the stream as well, and hi there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Mikro Jojo, I, I totally, yeah, that would make totally sense. And we definitely gonna have, yeah, basically we have those in here. I think a wing coaster doesn't actually have a corkscrew in that sense, does it? I, I'm, you know, I'm not that kind of expert, but we might just, you know, what we could do is that might be actually quite interesting to do. So let's just try and rotate that one. Oh, actually, that would. <laughs> um, does this make sense at all? I, I have no idea if this makes sense, but let's try it. So, what about nothing like that? I mean, I've never seen anything like that, but... <laughs> I've, see, I've, I have no idea if that's um, that's gonna work, but... Just let's try it. But it, you know, the flow of it is a little bit strange. So if we if we go in and turn to the... L oh wait, no, it's actually not that bad. That could work actually. 
So let's see if we can... Wait, I have to go to zero then again. And wait, can we just... Yeah, thank you. And let's see if we then make it into this last element as well. Oh, wait. Actually, we are... So there we go. Now into this last helix. So um, let's open it a little bit so that it's not gonna be too crazy. Into the oh wait we are oh wait it's 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 not that fine we have to go a little bit higher then. We are on eight meters and we are also on eight meters over there so let's make this one go a little bit upwards. So that's nice. And then again, oh wait, we can go to zero degrees then. Can we turn in a little bit more? Yes, we can. That's good. All right. Wait, now we are at five meters? Oh, we're at minus five. All right, I, I just, sorry, that was that was strange. Anyways, um, okay, so now let's go straight into the break run. I know it's, it's you know, um, really strange looking right now but we definitely have to fix some elements uh, we need the catwalk where's the catwalk there we go mm. wait we need to end up at eight meters do we end up at eight meters then yes we do that's good so now let's connect it and get in the catwalk over here as well so Hmm, that's basically it for the, the, you know, general layout in a way. And because I think that this might be it, we just make um, this one now a little bit quicker as well. But anyways, so um, I, I can't leave you without a POV, right? I, I actually can't. But anyways, let's keep up the chat for a second. Um, uh, Clubs on Mob says wing coasters do have zero G rolls, um, like Gatekeeper. Yeah, definitely they do have this one because that makes actually total sense because it's rolling on its own axis, which you know it would be basic the, the origin of the wing itself. But um, uh, Gulful says um, the question is: Does Rudy want to make this one as realistic as possible or just nice looking? Both valid options. Well, I take second option as I said. This will be one that should be nice looking and act like. Yen, yeah, I don't want to say weenie, but it is kind of the central piece of this uh, park. It should be at least have some nice values. It should be at least looking a little bit realistic. But in a way, I'm not giving too much of an effort into realism at this stage. You know, I've got my hour coaster series for it, and I would do it uh, in series like um, where I have time. So like that makes sense but in a let's play when we want to get shit done I, I don't think that this makes sense to go too much into realism um, Peter Maniac says Winkosas have a corkscrew but it has to be pretty big yep and we don't have too much you know we, are, we don't have any space to make it big so this element over here we have to see if we keep it because it's definitely not realistic at all but let's kind of see how it works out um, Sabermark asked, I'm thinking about buying this game. Is it worth it? No question, it is worth it. Just go and buy it. Right ahead. But make sure your computer can handle it because otherwise that would be a little bit... Anyways. Um, okay, so let's um, quickly dig out the terrain so that we can make a quick POV because I don't want to leave you out uh, without the POV. Um, for, um, first of all, for the guys on YouTube later on because that would make... That would suck if we just go on because you guys out there on Twitch now, you don't have that much time left until we do a POV, but we should definitely give it as a little service to you guys on, on YouTube as well. So let's just quickly dig those areas out. And then we're good to go later on. Well, it, it is not smooth at all. It's, you know, I just didn't test it at all. So don't take this as a... A final result but anyways let's jump into it and see what it's like I have no idea if we even make it guys darkness hate the light hey there um, well actually is it gonna start 
what's gonna happen did i oh i hit why did i hit pause i have no idea there we go okay whoa that was maybe a little bit too quick uh, are we oh we haven't been on okay we, we kind of do it again because we haven't been on um the normal speed that was or oh, twice as fast so there we go now Yeah, that looks pretty strange still. Uh, a lot of moving. The same goes for these areas. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, that one is perfect already. I, I'm not gonna change anything because that's already pretty awesome. Um, so this one, I kind of like. The, the, the pace is kind of nice through it. I, I just like the pace. Uh, this one is really bad. I have to change this one. Okay, this element doesn't work at all. That's basically crap. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna redo this element for sure. And then we, I think we, we might speed it up a tiny little bit, or maybe we can, I don't even know, but maybe we can change some elements. But anyways, guys, that should be it for this episode. Um, for you guys on, uh, for you guys on Twitch, um, we are gonna straight up into the next episode, so. Um, stay with me. I'm just going to do a pretty quick break and just drink a little bit. But anyways, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for you uh, on YouTube for watching as always, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>